Yo guys, what up, the Blue Gangster here, back with another tutorial, video, whatever, uh, because season 4 is coming this fall, whatever that means, um, and I'm pretty sure that Jin is going to get nerfed. Um, most of y'all should already know why, because he's way too good. Um, and up to this day, there's still a lot of people complaining about his forward four nerf, his down back four nerf, and just a few that are not giving a shit about forward four nerf or down back four nerf, but forward forward three nerf on block as it's zero but not plus two anymore. Um, there's actually another thing that really is bad. I mean, Jin has so many good things, we just could ignore that, but I just wanted to point that out, especially because I wanted to show you uh, a combo, but let's talk about that later. Um, and yeah, for the German audience, I'm gonna put um, German subtitles in there if you need it, because it's just plain English, so, but whatever. Um, the The thing that really sucks about Jin's Rage Drive is like I get why these two are auto hits why you can't cancel it right after the first one because a Rage Drive electric um, is kinda OP I think but whatever My the main problem is the main problem is the recovery of the second hit whether it's on hit or on block, because the problem is, especially mid match, it's it's not, even though it sucks, it's still not as bad in practice mode as it is in a real match, because on on block, um, on block your your plus, you can do your instant crouch cancel into whatever fifty fifty, um, but on hit. And and I'm not talking about this. I'm I'm talking about this, which actually which actually happens a lot in a match, right? And not only just like that, just a normal hit, but counter hit, trade, uh, it it track, whatever. Because of the recovery, you actually get no follow up. Like in practice, yes, you can do, you can do. Um, I think. Nah, easy mode is not possible. Easy mode would be this, but that's not possible. Back three sometimes is not possible. Uh, wild standing four. Yeah, here we go. The side switch combos. Back to one. And the problem is, yeah, this height on on normal hit is is good enough for you to wait, for you to wait, and then just keep on going with the usual rage drive thing, right? The problem is if it's if it is if it hits off axis or 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 a straight or whatever. The problem is that it's it's. Your opponent is too high for you to like connect the third hit if you follow up with it immediately, right? So you want to wait till your opponent is is dropped into that range. He fell into that range where you actually can get him with this, right? But since it's a trait or whatever, the height is different. So if you wait till your opponent is like let's say low enough for this to get hit it's already too late because if you wait too long and you press 3 plus 4 this is going to happen and if this happens and if this happens it's it's over because th th this thing right here will not hit anymore your opponent is, o is already going to lay on the ground you're not going to get 
like you're you're not going to get anything. You have to guess what what type of get up kick he will gonna do. How the way the way he gonna wake up. That there is no way that on on especially on Trey that you can follow up with a three plus four because it's either too early or too late to 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 get out if you get what I'm saying. And especially in a match where 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 it caught you off guard, it catches you off guard, right? So you just first thing you need to do is to realize, okay, oh shit, the the second one actually did hit. It wasn't the the first one. It was only the second one. Until you realize that, for you to crouch to to Zen cancel. And then do something like back three or something. Never ever. It's all. This is going to happen, or you're just way too slow. And and it's not your fault. It's not your fault because if this happens accidentally, there is nobody. I mean, I think even me can't do that on reaction. Like, what what do you want to do? What do you want to do? One, two, four. No, not even that. 70, 72 probably. But you're mid-match, you're not even going to get this. That's not possible. Because even 3-1, 1-2, back to 1, it's, it's, it's going to drop. Your opponent is already going to be on the ground before you actually realized, oh shit, I could have done something right here. Because the recovery is too high. And the second problem is, if, if, like, I, I recorded some things, if you don't, do not delay the, uh, crouch cancel into whatever, right after the first two hits, right, you got, you got a 50-50 option, right? You got a 50-50 option, if you do it, like, frame perfectly, I cannot even interrupt it with Jin's 13 frame rage art or Steve's or Anna's whatever not possible because because uh, Jin is way too plus with that on block right the thing is it's different mid match and especially online because you're you are not going to get a frame perfect cancel into into CD1 frame perfect cancel into CD4, whatever. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And sometimes, if you're too far away, you need to extend the the crouch dash, the crouch cancel dash, let's say. So you're actually going to hit your opponent and not whiff, right? By the time you do that, they can launch you, whatever. This is possible and it's yeah it's 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 not it's not a rare thing because most of the time you have to you have to extend or slash delay your your crouch cancel because otherwise you're gonna whiff. That there, there was a couple of times where I did this right here on block and then I did immediately a uh, hell sweep and it whiffed just in front of my opponent. So he just basically launched me for it. So I had no other option. The best option for me was to delay or double dash, as some gym players do, double dash into LLRK or, or CD1. By the way, this is stupid. This is stupid. That's just a side note. Uh, regular wing god fist minus ten. Electric with god fist plus five on block. Regular CD one minus thirteen on block. Electric CD one minus thirteen on block. At least make it minus ten. There is no freaking difference. Just a little bit. Just a bit of better height on on hit so you can get combos easier. Like for example in Tekken Tag 2, if you did the normal version, you you would not get Yeah, it's it's the same here. If you do the normal version 
Downfall 4 does not connect. Like, that's the only difference. Frame-wise, there is no difference. Bullshit. But whatever. Um. Yeah. That, that's that's my main problem with it. That's my main problem with it. Because if the sec th that's not gonna happen intentionally. You're not gonna intentionally with the second one. At uh, the first one. And then hit with the second one. Like, it will catch the opponent, yes, because he's not ready for that. But you're not ready for a follow-up. You cannot plan it, because the, 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 the range on, on, on this, like, to be calculated, you're not able to do that. that. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. If you say you do, that you're lying. You're, you're simply lying. So, the thing is, if, if only the second one hits... The recovery is messed up because either it's it's too much so you can get a follow up or it's too long so you can get a follow up. Both ways. It sucks. No matter what. Um the easiest way, the most not OP way, let's put it like that, the most not OP way to to make it work is to actually uh, lower the recovery of that and by by lower the recovery I'm just talking about three to four frames like one to two make almost make no difference would almost make no difference especially online or something but three to four frames would you uh, would give you um enough time if you're good uh, with reacting reacting reactions whatever um if, if you're fast enough to recognize, and you can react, then you could actually, most likely, let's say, let's say, 70% of all, all the times, the, um, when the second one hits, you could get something out of that. Because right now, it looks like, yeah, I can't always get something out of there, but it's not possible. Practice, yes. Mid-match, offline and all online, no. No way. No way. You you had a lot of luck if 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 you actually had a follow-up coming. Like that's that's not possible on purpose to do that on purpose. I don't believe that. That that's way too way too fast for you to actually realize what's going on and then tell tell yourself, okay, I need to follow up to get something out of there. Like the window is too close, it's too small. You you're not gonna get that mid match, especially because it's it catches you off guard. Not not your not only your opponent but you, the one who uses it. It always catches me off guard when I when I, when just the second one hits. I'm like, okay, I'm trying instant, instant um uh. Then cancel into back three, like this, because this will hit even though your opponent is almost on the ground. So it has like the the drop rate ain't as high. But even then, this can happen with basically every move, even with one two. And and that's the thing I don't get. Like, why? it makes it it makes it so bad because the thing is the safest option for you the safest option for you is this right here let's let's forget those moves let's put them on block is this right here your plus 18 or plus 12 depending on how you cancel it if you instant cancel it which I'm apparently not able to No, I cannot. I don't know. Maybe because I'm recording. As I tried it before, it actually worked, but right now it doesn't. Yeah. Depending on how you cancel it, it can go from plus 12 to plus 18. Right? So, that would be the safest option. But, you're giving up your turn. You wasted your rage. You, you got no hit. Yeah, you're plus 18. You can do whatever. Because you're safe, 
So so you don't get killed? Yes, I get that, but you just basically gave up your attack. And that's that's not actually worth it for me because the condition in which you have to be to actually go that far is not is not worth to 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 waste your it's 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 not working. If you're already in rage and you want to use that rage drive, that means you're on a mission to to I don't know finish the game whatever. Um, in in sometimes just to waste time so you get a timeout, but most likely because you want to finish it, right? So you are not you are not going to do this if it actually works. And then wait for your opponent to do something so he gets you killed. That doesn't make sense. If you go in, you're already committed to a move, right? What the hell was that? You're already committed to do a move, right? So, and if you extend, do a double, they can rage art, they can launch, they can whatever. If you're too far, you need to delay your crouch dash. You need to double dash in so your CD4 or whatever you have planned won't with and trust me this happens. This happens. Right? So either you whiff or if the opponent is too slow to react to it because he thought you might extend your dash he just gonna stay there and this is going to happen and you're automatically minus 13 he can punish you with 10, 11, 12, 13 and you're done for me it's not worth the risk it is not because both are launchers that that means you're either minus 13 or or launch punishable like what do you want to do um wave dash forward forward two i'm i'm not talking e we're not even counting sidestep in just by simply just by simply waiting holding back it's it's your turn because forward forward two is minus eight so there is no real advantage out of the rage drive because this recovery is too long what the hell happens to his coat man what the fuck is this um you're you're not in a in a in a plus position advantageous position when you throw out his rage drive doesn't make sense you better keep your your rage the pressure uh, to press rage art when you know a jab is coming uh, a forward four is coming whatever just wait for it and press so you can kill him it, it's it's not worth it it's not worth it especially because of the recovery nerfing that recovery meaning actually buffing that recovery because making it less so you can pick up when when the second one hits you can actually actually do some 50 50s even though your opponent is further away but it's he has to commit to something and does not have the time to cover most of all options and then launch you for that if if this is going to get fixed this way then you can actually use this rage drive now the way it is now since it is since season one I think I would actually sometimes I c catch myself off guard just throwing out that rage drive sometimes sometimes but most likely I don't really want to use that rage drive outside of combos because it's just a minus it's not a plus it doesn't make sense there's like there's like five five things let's say there's five things there that can happen that can happen if you throw out that rage drive right and just one out of those five things is a good thing that's that's how this rage drive works that's that's how the situation is so to me it's not worth it 
outside of combos in neutral. Um, speaking of that, what I don't understand, and especially with Jin, you shouldn't do that. There are a lot of um, Leo players, Paul players, Kazumi players, uh, who else? Brian. Uh, Brian, nah, King not. But these are enough, right? As soon as they have Rage, they throw out Rage Drive immediately. They don't even think about it. They just, okay, Rage, bam. And that's what I don't get. Because keeping your rage, keeping your rage is such a big plus, is such a big plus. If you go in, you pressure your opponent, he, you get the extra damage, he's still scared, oh shit, he could use his rage drive, he could use his rage art, damn, um, I better not press something, um, or he's scared to press because he knows even if he just jabs you, you can immediately react to that jab with a rage art and it's over. But but you just throw it away. You just give it away. You just press rage drive even though you're not even sure if it's going to hit. You just think it has to hit and then you throw it out immediately. It's such a waste. I don't get it. Why? Why would you throw that away? It's such a big plus. You get you get more damage. You're more intimidating. There's automatic pressure just by having rage, and especially because you get range o only when you like have low health. Why wouldn't you use that? Why wouldn't you utilize that? I don't get it. I don't understand. But that's just some side trash talking. So. Because of damage, the last thing I wanted to show is, um, as I watched um, a lot of Jin combo videos and other Jin tutorials, that most of the Rage Drive Jin combos are um, mid or end Rage Drive Jin combos. Because it's an extender to a combo before or after screw. Or as an ender for wall carry, wall splat, whatever. Most likely not an opener and starter. And now you know why. But what I'm going to do is. I'm going to show you the most damaging rage drive starter combo of Jin that I know. But we're not going to count wall in. Alright. And. This thing is really complicated, but as far as I know, it's really max damage, so here we go. Eighty two damage without the wall, so I guess I guess it's like a hundred little bit of hundred plus with wall. Maybe even hundred ten or something, I don't know. But that's that's like the most damaging one. Uh, but this combo is really difficult and the drop rate is really, really high. So if you know Jin, you know that it's a little bit easier to do combos when you're slightly right off axis. And even then, even then, this combo has a really high drop rate. And I'm going to show you why. First off... If you press the two after the crouch cancel too early, it's going to win. Second point of this is if you do it too late, you're not going to get the follow up. But before you follow up after this, you have to do a dash. Otherwise, it's got not gonna hit at all. You have to do a dash. After you connect with the CD2. And then when this connects. You need to go into Zen. Instantly cancel it. And then do back 3 forward. Forward uh, 1 3. 1 2. Now come on. 1 2 uh, is going to whiff. I'ma even try it. I'ma try it slightly right. 
you see? Here you go. But it's still like is it really worth it? I don't know. Like there there um Here, if I do it like this, this one will whiff. So like this is probably the easiest one, 75. So 82 is is a difference, especially the wall carry, but the drop rate, I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, but but that's basically it. That's basically it. I know Jin is going to get nerfed and I just pray for him so that there are there's if if there are patch notes even though he's going to get a new move, even if there are patch notes that the new move is the only thing listed in in his section of the patch notes. That's what I'm going to pray for. Because everything else will be a nerf, and like this, you can you can nerf things, you can buff things, but this is the most annoying thing, because it's it's offensively and defensively, it's whack. It doesn't make sense. If it if it accidentally hits, you can't do shit. If it hits on on block you have to you have to do frame perfect stuff otherwise otherwise it's it's hit hit or launch hit or get launched guess right or get launched or at least uh punished with 13 the advantage you get when you use it is comparable to Armor King's Rage Drive. And you know how much Armor King's Rage Drive sucks. Yes, if it connects, you get an instant throw. You get an instant throw. But in between there is so much shit that can happen. Let alone they can duck it, they can step it. Um if if there is lag or something is wrong with your inputs um you're too slow or you're not getting your instead of your instant shining wizard you're getting just a two throw whatever it's comparable to to this one because random random hits you're not going to react to that you're not going to react to that and on block if something happens there's a delay just for I don't know one or two frames it's your your 50 50 is no longer guaranteed so please take my advice if you're watching this if you listen to this first don't just throw out rage drives as soon as you get your rage wait for the right opportunity Intimidate your opponent with it. Use it for your advantage. Don't just throw it away. And for especially for Jin mains, don't do wave dash into rage drive or I don't know forward four cancel into rage drive. It's not worth the minus you'll get afterwards. Just wait for the right moment to press to press back one plus two or your rage art button or do even a minimal combo. Nobody cares. Just do it to get your extra damage, your your wall splat, your re wall splat, whatever. Do it that way. Don't just don't just throw it out in neutral. It's not worth it. It's just a complete waste. It's a big minus. Don't do that. Alright, and if they, I don't think they're gonna do this because as you realize there was somebody who compared the recovery of every electric there is and basically all of the recovery of every electric version there is is the same except for Jin's. Jin's is longer one than the other three. Sp speaking of Kazuya, Devil Jin and Heihachi. 
they're basically the same. Jin's is the only one, and I'm not talking about screw or launch. I'm talking about recovery. On on with. That that's the thing they know. They not they are not going to fix it. So I have. I I don't think yeah low low expectations. I don't think that they are going I I'm not even really sure if they are aware of this but I don't think they're going to fix it it really needs to be fixed because just this little thing just this little thing makes this rage drive actually so bad it's not really worth it to to throw it out it's not but but that's it enough trash talking thanks for listening thanks for watching hope you liked it blue gangs is out peace you to work